After a series of police crackdowns on Occupy movement sites across the U.S., civil rights groups, attorneys, and journalists are seeking information on what they call a possible coordinated federal government response. This week, the National Lawyers Guild and the Partnership for Civil Justice Fund filed a Freedom of Information Act, or FOIA, request for federal agencies, including the Department of Justice, the FBI, and the CIA. But the efforts bring up the difficulty of obtaining records under FOIA, which was designed to make government more transparent to the public. For more, we go to journalist Jason Leopold. He's an investigative reporter and deputy managing editor with Truthout.org. And he's been pursuing information on the FBI and the Occupy movement by using FOIA requests. He's gotten some responses. Jason Leopold, welcome to FSRN. Thanks so much for having me on. First, in your FOIA requests to the FBI, what information are you specifically requesting? Well, this was a FOIA request that I had filed October 31st. And in that uh, FOIA request, it was a wide range of documents. Uh, I have been seeking uh, emails, memos, transcripts, audio, uh, any threat assessments, basically any email traffic or or any traffic uh, that has gone back and forth uh, between uh, FBI officials uh, and uh, local law enforcement and local government uh, officials with regard to uh, Occupy Wall Street. Uh, I, I do want to note that I also had made a, um, uh, a FOIA request. I filed a FOIA request on the same day with Department of Homeland Security as well. Um, and on uh, actually on, on Monday, I received a letter from the FBI uh, in response to my FOIA request uh, the letter was dated November 15th, so that's about two weeks after I filed it. And uh, their response to me, surprisingly, was that they have not found any documents uh, responsive uh, to my request. And uh, I truly find that to be uh, uh, surprising and astounding, to say the least. Well, also in an article this week in Truthout.org, you mentioned that at least one member of the FBI cybersecurity team in New York received emails about um, Occupy Wall Street uh, the, that you know appears to constitute a document that would fall under this FOIA request. Why, why wouldn't that be included? Exactly. Now, that's a, that's, a, that's a very good question. So this is a member of the New York cyber uh, security team, and, and this was a person who was the recipient of emails from an individual who had uh, uh, gained access to an Occupy Wall Street listserv. So uh, my FOIA request went directly to FBI headquarters. And under the, uh, it's at least my understanding, some of the changes that were made under this administration meant that when you file a FOIA request with FBI headquarters, that they're supposed to search, uh, you know, at least, conduct a broad search, which includes field offices. And, uh, you know, my, my instinct is that it did not, and it was just isolated to, you know, the central record system. But this is, you know, again, this has long been a problem uh, with the FBI uh, in terms of the, the, they, they make it very difficult to find relevant records based on their search process. President Obama came into the office pledging to speed up the FOIA request process. But three years later, and, and this is from March of this year, fewer than half of the 90 federal agencies had made changes to their FOIA process. So from your own personal experience as a reporter, have you found that the information has become more difficult to obtain under FOIA or, or has the situation remained the same? In my experience, and I'll tell you that in the past couple of months, say since uh, September, I've probably filed more than two dozen FOIA requests with the CIA, with the FBI, with the Department of Defense for a wide range of documents uh, related to, you know, the past administration. I have not seen any difference. This administration has made many promises on transparency uh, and FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, was uh, some uh, the, the 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 restrictions were uh, tightened by uh, John Ashcroft, the former Attorney General, and uh, Obama came in, uh, signed this executive order, and 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 those restrictions were were loosened, uh, but it still 
it, it does not go far enough. We're still seeing this administration fight, uh, in, in some cases, the release of, of documents. And, and, you know, that's not to mention the fact that they're backlogged, and that's understandable uh, in terms of the response time. But uh, transparency is not exactly uh, what we're getting here. Jason Leopold is an investigative reporter and deputy managing editor with Truthout.org. He's been pursuing information on the FBI and other federal agencies and the Occupy movement by using FOIA requests, and and we'll continue to follow your reporting on this. Jason Leopold, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.